Mortgage manager Stanford Carp doesn't have a single scar or mark where doctors removed a tumor below his brain. That's because rather than cutting open his face, doctors reached the tumor through his nose. Truly felt embarrassed when people would come to visit you because you don't need bandages. Carp had a tumor growing on his pituitary gland. He was pushing against my optic nerve. And I was told that if it hadn't been diagnosed, that sooner or later it would have wrapped around the nerve and there was the potential for uh, losing my eyesight. A new procedure is allowing neurosurgeons at Barnes Jewish Hospital and Washington University School of Medicine to remove pituitary and other tumors without any incisions. Instead, they're using a less invasive approach through the nose. The surgery that has been used in the past to uh, take these tumors out has involved either incisions in the scalp uh, and you know, removing a piece of bone from above, which is a pretty uh, major surgery, uh, or incisions either underneath the lip or actually through uh, uh, the face to get to some of these tumors that we're now using the endoscopic approach for. The scope is then inserted through the nasal cavity all the way to the back. Doctors first use endonasal surgery to treat sinus problems. Now they're using it to remove tumors near the brain. So we use uh, endoscopes, which are these rigid telescopes, that um, are placed through the nose and we go through the anatomy that's in the nose to approach the brain. The surgeon's instruments are inserted through the nostrils. A high definition camera is also attached to the endoscope, allowing surgeons to watch what they're doing on a television screen while performing surgery. As you know, surgeons you know, we get more and more comfortable with this type of approach, the type of tumors that you'll be able to take out through this approach is gonna expand. And so I think that's what's on the horizon over the next five or 10 years. Patients still face risks with the removal of any tumor, depending on location, what nerves are involved, and size. But the side effects from the approach itself are minimal, and the recovery is quicker than traditional surgery. And that's a common area for tumors. Many patients are able to go home within days of surgery with no pain or only taking Tylenol. Some may have a sense of nasal congestion or a cold, but that's it. I woke up and my vision was back to normal. It was amazing. Stanford Carp couldn't believe how easy his surgery went. He was home in days without a single bandage. I mean, it was just utterly amazing because having had minor things in the past um, were more trouble than this was. Doctors say the endonasal surgery is primarily used to remove pituitary tumors, but is moving to treating tumors deeper in the skull base.